Look at this. This is totally a thing. That is some cool stuff. Hey, what's up guys? I'm gonna show you something super fun today. It's something you can do with the kids and make some crazy artwork just in time for Easter. Uh, I, I don't know if this is really quite Easter artwork material, but it's definitely fun and it's something that you'll enjoy and above all else, your kids are gonna love it. It's very simple. It doesn't require a lot of input from you. All you really need are some coffee filters, some Crayola markers, and a little bit of water, maybe a cup or something to put it in. Uh, and literally, that's it. Like, we're gonna color some neat things on our, our paper or filter. <laughs> you know what? Let me show you. This is really cool. Gather some things, grab the kids, and uh, have a seat around the kitchen table. want to show you really quickly the concept behind how this works. Now we're putting a small hole in the center and putting a wick in there which we drop into a beaker of water just so that we can uh, wick that water up and, and pass it to the, the filter which then from the center it radiates outward in all directions <laughs> equally. That's why we get these amazing little uh, radial images here uh, using various colors and that sort of thing. Very fun. But the idea here is that if you introduce water to one part of the filter, you can actually watch it, and this is uh, quick enough here that you can see it moving. You can uh, actually see it propagating across the filter. This is what's happening. It's wicking the water up to the filter, and it's moving. That water is moving. It's spreading out throughout that filter. And that's how we're able to get uh, these amazing images. That's how we're able to push the color from the center of the paper out towards the edge. So, uh, very cool. Uh, that's the first one. It's got some really nice pinks and reds and that sort of thing in it, but it didn't quite give me exactly what I was looking for, so we got rid of that. Next one I did was this nice purple uh, piece here. I made a little spiral. You can still see the spiral in there uh, with a purple marker and uh, let it distribute that out to the edges. Kind of came out really neat looking. Uh, pretty interesting. This is the one from the flower. Let me, uh, that one's pretty cool. The, you can see the green from the grass in the, the base of the flower there and all the reds uh, from the flower, red and orange. And then you can see the yellow up in that uh, top right hand corner there. That's where the sun was. Uh, see, it's kind of a, that one's kind of interestingly neat. What's really cool though is that the center now is uh, pretty much empty, like uh, there's not a lot there. Uh, well, I was making this and then the uh, centerpiece fell out, the uh, little bit that's wicking the water up, so 
I don't know, I think it's kind of an interesting little deal. Uh, it came out kind of nice. It's a uh, another filter that's got the rainbow colors on it, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet down there at the bottom. And uh, so we're gonna try this and see what kind of a good separation we can get from there. I thought maybe trying it again without the colors connected might give us a little bit different result and might be kind of interesting. is coming out really cool though i'm not gonna lie this may be uh, one of my favorites here so far able to see all those colors uh, streaking out towards the edge as that water creeps to the uh the outside edge of the of the filter there so pretty cool things that are happening right there that's uh that's pretty impressive i dig that Oh yes, look at this. Let me get, look at that. It's pushing those colors all the way to the edge. That is a pretty impressive thing. That's pretty clever and colorful and cool. And what I'm thinking is maybe we cut out uh, the center of this one and put it with this. Oh, let's make it a thing. Hang on. Let's, uh... Go. And now that they are both wet very well, we'll kind of just tack them together. Oh my gosh, look at that. It's spread to the other one. Can you see that? Look at this right here. See this around the edge where this is? Oh my gosh, it's spreading from one to the other. <gasps> that is a thing. I didn't know that was a thing. Look at this, this is totally a thing. So I had the uh, the center, the, the small one that we made earlier with the rainbow on it, and it worked okay until the wick fell out and it stopped. It's kind of lame and boring, but it still looked cool with the separation of colors. But look at this. I put it on top of the, the one that we just finished and wetted it down again, and look at that. That is some cool stuff. That's amazing. All right, I'm, this made my day right here. This. Totally, um, totally a thing. Let's pull this one off, separate, oh my gosh. Look at that, now I've got one thing that's perfect. This is kinda cool, uh, but that thing, that is what I was looking for. This is what we wanted. That is a beautiful thing. All right, you guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. I had a ton of fun making this one. It was uh, lots of fun. Uh, you get to make some pretty colors and do some really neat things. If you haven't seen last week's video, make sure you go watch it right now. I'll put a link at the end of this video. There's also one down in the description. I uh, made some thermite, tested that out. We had some really good luck. And uh, you should go watch it because I'm looking for some suggestions. What should I do with the thermite? How can I make that um, destroy something amazing? And I need your ideas, your suggestions. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, please make sure you hit that like button down below. Leave a like, if nothing else, for my amazing little solar system wall here. We've got some pretty crazy places. Look, it's home right there. Anyway, leave a little like if you enjoyed this video. I sure had a ton of fun making it. All right, guys, anyway, that's the end of this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please click that like button. Make sure you're subscribed. There's a little subscribe button right over here that you can click. And aside from that, I'll catch you guys next time.